This video illustrates how to search the Code of Federal Regulations by keyword using govinfo.gov. Govinfo is a service of the United States Government Publishing Office. It provides free public access to official publications from all three branches of the federal government. You'll notice that right now there's a ribbon indicating that GovInfo is in beta. You might hear or see references to FedSys, which is the system GovInfo is replacing. GovInfo is scheduled to be out of beta in 2018 and should completely replace FedSys sometime thereafter. Before we do an actual search, I wanted to draw your attention to the Help button. There's various information under this button that will help you learn how to use GovInfo, uh, learn things like what kinds of uh, connectors you can use in a search, if there are special characters you can use to make your search more efficient, what content you're searching, and that kind of thing. So that might be a useful uh, supplement to this very, very brief video introduction. So for our actual search, we're going to imagine that we're trying to find EPA underground storage tank regulations. And there's three different options on the search button. There's a simple search button. There's an advanced search button, uh, which gives us some more options of how we can search. And then there's a citation search button. Now, if we had a citation that we were looking for, this would be probably the most efficient option to use. But in this case, we're just looking for things by topic and we don't have a citation number. So we're gonna look at both a search and an advanced search. So starting with the simple search, I'm just gonna stick in the phrase underground storage tanks. Now I've put that in in quotation marks from the help information. I know that I can use quotation marks to search for that exact phrase. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the search button and we have retrieved 2,781 records that have the exact phrase underground storage tanks in them. Part of the reason that's such a high number of records is that we were searching across all the content on GovInfo, which again has got information from all three branches of government. So we can use the information on the left-hand side to narrow our search. So one thing that we know we're looking for is information from the CFR or Code of Federal Regulations. And when we look under collection, we don't see CFR listed. However, if we click on the See More button, then we can see Code of Federal Regulations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now we're down to 137 records. Now, if I wanted to, I could further limit using the left-hand side. So, for instance, in these first two results, I notice that this one is from Title 40 and this one is from Title 7. And as I look at what Title 40 is, I can see that's protection of environment, whereas Title 7 is agriculture. So if I wanted to limit my search just to those EPA regulations, then that might be one limit, is to limit it to Title 40. And as I come over here into the CFR section, that is one of my options. So I can go ahead and apply that limit. Now just for contrast, I want to show you what an advanced search looks like. So here we can uh, do various date limits if we wanted to do that. We can do some refining upfront by collection. So in a minute, I'm going to apply the CFR as our collection that we want to search in. But even with just our general search terms, the advanced feature gives us some flexibility on specifying where we want those terms to appear. So for instance, you're going to get probably fairly different results if you say you want the term just anywhere in the full text as opposed to wanting the term to appear within the title. So I'm gonna click on Code of Federal Regulations to limit our search to that. And now I want to draw your attention back to this search in options, because in addition to everything we had before, you'll see we now have a number of things that are specific to the collection we're searching, the CFR. So our first search term is going to be that same full text phrase, underground storage tanks, but then I'm going to add additional criteria and I'm going to limit the search to the CFR title number of interest, which is 40. And we'll go ahead and click the orange search button. 
And at first, you might think that there's been a horrible mistake because we've got 2,072 records. However, the reason we have that is because this view historical results option is checked here. If we uncheck that, we're back to the 120 records that we are expecting um, that we got when we did the other search and then applied the limits. Now, 120 might still seem like an awful lot of results. And the reason we're getting so many results is that the way the results are listed, each section, whether the appendix sections or the individual sections of all the regulations are listed separately. Now, if you were looking for just one particular regulation, like all we really wanted to see were the definitions, then this is very convenient because you can just get a PDF that will show you just this section of the CFR. However, if you want to look at more rather than going through all 120 results, it's going to be easier to do it in a little bit different way. So we're going to click on the citation and that's going to bring up this content details view, which gives us some information about how up to date it is and where it falls within the CFR. And if we click on document in context, it's going to open a table of contents for the CFR. And as we scroll down, first scrolling down to get to Title 40, Protection of the Environment, then you'll notice this section is open. Um, you can tell it's open because instead of a plus, you've got a minus sign indicating it's open. And there's a very small little indents to kind of show you the layers of, of the information. So now we're going to continue scrolling down because we want to get to that 280. Okay. And so here is part 280. And again, if we wanted just the definitions, which this is highlighted in orange because that's where we entered this table of contents from, we could get just the definitions. But the nice thing about this is if we want all of part 280, we can click on the PDF button there and open a section which is going to give us all of part 280. And you'll notice that is an 89 page PDF that came up. The other thing that's useful about looking at this in context is that oftentimes the meaning of regulations, statutes, um, depend on the context in which they are published. So understanding where something falls within a code or the code of regulations can be very important to understanding what its actual meaning is. It's a very quick introduction to finding content by subject using GovInfo. Thanks for watching.